Hi, I'm Brennan Perry. I'm Taylor Swindells. And we are Tourist Company from Vancouver, Canada. I would say a lot of it is doing everything yourself is really hard. Doing all the booking, all the social media, trying to gather press, uploading everything to iTunes and Spotify and Apple Music. Yeah, so just having to do everything yourself is really hard when you're a young new band, when I feel like you don't understand how much goes into releasing a record. Yeah, for sure. And it, it's starting from, from nowhere. Nobody knows, knows who you are, and so you kind of have to, yeah, convince people, give them a reason to listen to you, and starting, yeah, starting from ground zero. It's a lot of family and friends at those first shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had a blast in Guadalajara and Mexico City last year when we were here for FIMPRO and a show in here in Mexico City, and we're m more than excited to explore uh, new cities that we haven't been to. Uh, I, I love touring a lot, and so seeing new cities is one of my favorite parts about being in a band. Uh, and so getting to see new cities in another country that I haven't spent a lot of time in is really exciting. Yeah, and the culture and love for music um, that we've found in Mexico, wherever we've been so far, has been amazing. And so um, exploring more of that is, yeah, amazing. We're stoked for that. I feel like I'm a pretty hopeful person. <laughs> like I'm a glass <laughs> half full kind of person. So I think it'll be great. Even if there's 10 people at like our first show, uh, I'm excited about that because that's 10 people who want to come out and listen to music and that we get to hang out with and, and talk to and uh, have an experience with. Yeah, I'm more the pessimist, and so I assume that no one will ever show up to any show. Um, and so that's how we balance each other out. But I'm, I'm always like, no matter whoever's there, it's a great show. There's no such thing as a bad show to me. Um, we've played lots, and um, yeah, like it's, it's always a great experience. Um, yeah, whoever's there, we're just excited for that. I think it's going to be great. Yeah, we've played to a lot of empty rooms in Canada yep. and in the States, <laughs> and so I think we're, we're used to dealing with how that feels and understanding that isn't necessarily a reflection on us or our art. Hopefully coming back a lot more. Um, yeah, I can take that. Yeah, like it's it's like it's hard to tell. We'd love to put another record down here. We'd love to come down and do more shows. Um, but mostly we just want to get more plugged into the culture, like get better at speaking Spanish. Honestly, that's a big goal for me. Like my Spanish is terrible, which is why I'm speaking English right now. Um, but yeah, like really get more dialed into the culture and um, into the people, because the people are a huge part of why we play music and do it. Like we love interacting with music fans and music lovers because we're music fans too. And so, yeah, it's for me at least. Yeah, I'd say going forward with another album cycle in the next five years is a super attainable goal and playing some great festivals because there are amazing festivals in Mexico yeah. um, and hopefully playing some really rad shows in the process. Yeah, um, 2000s indie for me. Um, I grew up on Radiohead, um, Death Cab for Cutie, uh, Flaming Lips, um, the National. We like, whereas I also really love those bands, and I grew up listening to Radiohead. I was also a big hard rock and metal and punk guy, and like that's the scene that I grew up in and that I played in uh, when I was a young drummer. And so I draw a lot of my influences from really heavy music. Um, so figuring out how to like combine that and work that into indie pop is always interesting. <laughs> <laughs> It took us a long time to write our record that we've just finished, um, and so we've been working on that and showcasing, like doing things like coming. We came down to Freem Pro last year in Guadalajara. Um, we did some showcasing in Germany um, and in the U.S. as well, and so we've been touring a decent amount since we put that album out. Um, and yeah, just this record was a long process. It was a great one. Um, I'm very excited with how it turned out, but it definitely needed the time that we took. That's a great question. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> I feel like our answers are going to be vastly different. Yeah, we'll I'm going to say it's like Rocky Road ice cream <laughs> because everybody loves ice cream. Everybody loves how smooth it is, and they can they can digest it. But there are some tough elements in there. You got to work through. Hold on, you got to work through some nuts. That's hard to chew through. There's some unexpected squishy bits in there. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're, we're, everyone thinks they know what they're getting, and there's some surprises in there. <laughs> um, we're the least spicy band ever. We're not very spicy, no. Um, yeah, like, I, I Chicken would... Chicken broth. Chicken broth. No. <laughs> Hold on, I had it, though. I was there for a second, and I lost it. Tacos. Think of a Mexican flavor. Think of a Mexican flavor. Chili con queso. Quesadilla. 
Yeah. It's a nice bunch of flavors folded up into a tortilla and served to you. Yeah. There you go. There we go. We are like a quesadilla. We are like a quesadilla. Yeah. A mix of a whole bunch of different stuff, packaged neatly, and give it to you. <laughs> yeah. uh, muchas gracias, Explosión Visuales. Uh, estamos tourist company. Ah, dang it, I guess so close. Yeah. Estamos tourist company. Uh, our social medias are uh, at Tourist Co. Yeah. Um, you can Instagram, just find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those Instagram, things. Instagram, Facebook. If you search our name, it'll come up. Yeah. <laughs>